Hi everyone. Today I'd like to show you P bit message. So it's a bit message client written in Python as the name suggests. And uh, it is a client for the bit message peer to peer communications protocol. I'm not really going to talk about that much. I'm going to focus on the client, which is it's, it's not very hard to use, you know. I'm going to, by the way, talk about it later. First, if you want to know about it, about the protocol, you can just go to the official website, it is bit, bitmessage.org, and then you'll be redirected to the wiki page here, you know. So there are FAQ, okay, so frequently asked questions. And then there is also a white paper, PDF here. You can just read about it, an introduction. This is just a five page introduction to the explanation to the to the protocol so also you have a comparison with other message messaging services such as skype or tox xmpp here okay and that's it basically you can install super easily on Arch Linux, you know, Yaourt or uh, PacAour or any other our uh, installer. So the from the Arch user repository. Anyway, for other distribution, you have here the everything you need to run to get to pre-install the packages that are needed. And then you can get the the client itself from GitHub, so it's super easy, you know, just git clone and then run the the client okay so everything you need to know on how to get the client on a different uh, distribution than Arch Linux it's written in, it's in here you know also you have uh, an help with the client if you have some issues that are not gonna showing you you know everything is written in here so you will find everything I, I think so Okay, there it is. Actually, let me send him the tray. As I said, on Arch, super easy. Uh, there are actually three. There is the Git, which is actually same as this one, probably. I just installed the first one. And then there is the development uh, version. Okay, so super easy to get on, on Arch Linux, by the way. So actually, the first time you run it, it will ask if you want to connect or if you want to check the settings. OK, the settings, I just left almost everything to the defaults. The only thing that I changed here is that when I when I start P bit message, it start in the tray. OK, so I don't have these windows, but I, the tray appears here and that's it. So actually, as you can see in the tray, it's some stuff of a, it's like a bin, okay, upside down, I think. And here, if you can see, there are like uh, the number of inbox that you have. I just got an, a new message right now. In red, written in red. I think you can change that. Anyway, if you see something here in red, are the messages in your inbox. Okay, so first thing that you can try out by the way, check the network status if you are connected or not. There is also this glossary here, red, yellow, or green. You can check. But you can add actually an address, which is a mailing list. As you as you saw, I just received an email uh, message and you will get a, a message from this mailing list every 10 minutes. So the best thing to try out is first add this address because you probably don't know uh, many addresses you know it's this is not really famous you know this protocol so there are not many people using it as of today so basically i will i will leave this link this uh, sorry this address in the description and addresses looks like this you know this is the address okay so there is no like john at gmail.com okay but these are the addresses and you are going to receive a message just with this address so if in the message you get like uh, hi i'm john then you know 
the, that that address is John okay if not you have no idea who that address is you know so basically as I said you can just even before doing an account create an account add a new subscription you can click here or just select new and then you can set a label as I, I said here test and then the address so this one BM etc and then in this case you will receive as I said every 10 minutes this is a mailing list and here inside this message this is coming from bitmessage.ch so from Switzerland actually there are two other addresses another another mailing list here that you can try to add I got no messages from this one and another one is a is another address you can send a, a message with help as a subject okay and then you will receive a, a message with a, an introduction to bit message and some other information you know so to send a message I'm going to copy actually this one because I want I, I'm going to send I'm going to show you how, how it's easy to send a message okay so there are two ways to create an address okay one is random number generator okay so a random generated number and another is use a passphrase I just created the first one to try out and I use a random generated one here are pros and cons and everything else it's on the the wiki page so you can just go there read everything and then select whatever you prefer so after you created an account as you can see you can set a label because maybe you have like I don't know 10 accounts 20 accounts or whatever so it's useful to have a, a label for them because you probably won't remember your entire address you know and by the way all the informations so the label doesn't to access an, uh, an account you don't need this label this makes no sense you need the address and the keys you know and the keys are uh, random generated in this case and you will find everything in a file it's called keys.dat dot okay and it's stored by default in dot config p bit message okay this is very important it's a very important file and you want to back up somewhere maybe in a cloud on your smartphone etc because if you lose this file and you don't know the keys or uh, you know the address and everything you just lost that account in my case for example if I lost this one it's, it's not gonna be a big deal you know I just create another one just for a test but if you have one or more addresses that you care about it's very important that you back up this file okay that you store this file somewhere else so that if your hard disk explode or your computer you know take there is fire or uh, water you know if something happens you are able to restore your accounts very important so again dot config pbit message keys dot that you, you can open it you know and then you will you will see that there is this address you know and then the the password the keys etc okay once you did that here are the inbox and the sent messages and the trash and here you have a general all accounts where you also have your subscription you know you receive everything here so if you have 10 accounts you receive all the subscription the inboxes the new for any accounts everything is here okay let me send the message actually and first I show you that if you get if you send a message you know to an address and by the way I'm going to leave my address in the description so you can send a message to me if you like and uh, I reply you back if I I don't know when but it may happen that I reply you back anyway if you get like waiting for an encryption key probably there is something that went wrong and the, the, the message isn't uh, it's going to be sent or uh, 
there was something something happens or something went wrong okay uh a properly sent message will have the this uh this note here so acknowledgement of the message received okay this is how a uh, completed message okay so sent and received looks like so let me send a message to that to this uh, address here with help and by the way i already received that so there it is oh sorry there it is you know this is the match the message that you're going to receive probably there are some other uh, addresses here okay anyway to send super easy you need an address okay subject in this case if you want to have a reply send help as, as the subject as is written here so I'm going to send help and then I'm going to select my account I'm not gonna write any message because this is everything that I need so I'm going to send I'm going to go back on send as you can see here doing war necessary to send message I just wait a few seconds message sent waiting for acknowledgement with the date and the time acknowledgement of the message received so right now as you as you saw just a few seconds that may depend on on your connection and on many other stuff but uh, if if everything is okay it just takes a second and you and the message is uh, sent okay then this address is going to reply me back okay if i go in my inbox i already sent another one here i actually sent four i got two so first i'm going to receive this one and then this other one i don't know when but anyway you're going to receive as i showed you before this uh, message with some information okay that's about it you can also as you see before there are uh, mailing lists so you can create an account and uh, set this account to, to create a mailing list, you know. Everything you need to do is double click and go, uh, sorry, uh, right click and select special address behavior. And then here you can behave as a pseudo mail, mailing list address, okay. So it's very interesting if you want to set up a mailing list you know bit message you can do that super easily create an account and then behave as a pseudo mailing list address by the way all the other information are in the bitmessage.org wiki the official website wiki okay that's about it as i said i'm going to leave this mailing list address in the description which contains something uh, some other addresses here you can send help then to this one and you will receive a message and also i will send my I will, uh, i'm going to put in the description my address so you can send a message to me all right that's it i know that there are two clients available for android one is available available for the from the google play store and none of them is available on f-droid so maybe i will wait that they are available on F-Droid, but uh, everything that you see here, it's also available on a smartphone too. So it's a very interesting, you know. And by the way, this is decentralized, private, you know, it, without an authority, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So very, very nice uh, protocol, client, and alternative to what we have now, just Skype, email, and the other, uh, and other things all right that's it hope it was helpful send me a message if you like and i'll see you in the next video new message from test you know i just got a new one that means that my video is 10 minutes <laughs> all right see you in the next time guys bye bye